It's Tony time, chat. It's Tony, Tony time. Chase. Everyone's not favorite. Getting, not never. Everyone's get, favorite Tony can Chase. Can you give just a little rundown of who Tony is real quick for anybody that's like new? We got quite a few people. Of course. Tonight. Yeah. And that's why I want to ask you before I do this one more time because I can't see. Could you uh, let me know how many people are in chat? We got 2,500. Awesome. And we're going to see these numbers dwindle because a lot of people do not oh, like dude. Tony content. You guys, we're we're really gonna we're I pro, we should end every week with Tony content. Yeah. I swear, over time the people will get it because Tony is just like one of the most insane people you've ever shown me. Yes, Tony Chase, Tony Chase. And by the way, someone got in touch with me and said the area Tony lives in is one of like the biggest areas in Indiana or maybe even the U.S. Uh, per capita for meth usage. So that makes that's a lot just, of sense. Yes, Tony Chase is a schizophrenic man from presumably California. That's where I feel like he's said a lot of times. But then again, Tony, he's also said that he has a 41-inch penis. He also wow. said that his father is Walt Disney, who was also nine feet tall. And Tony himself is still growing into his, like, nine-foot form. Um, he's what still else? growing, he, yeah. He owns that. Yeah, he's, he's teething, teething. But um, it's... it's well, look so, at these titles. Government torture, mutilation, crimes in America, crimes of government, their tricks of embezzlement, satellite controllers think they can spy, yeah. lawsuit of trillions against the American government. So uh, here's so, people showing up. His pizza. Yes, cops. Yeah, people called cops <laughs> to his house. And again, I'm happy that people who know about Tony might be here now. Do not call the cops on Tony. No. Like, don't, just, just don't call the cops on Tony. You know, Take we. The snake. we we said it a million times before, if you have a line to Tony, try to convince him to go to the doctor, try to convince him to take his cat to the vet. Other than that, stay yes. the fuck out of this guy's life. Please convince Tony to like, because he thinks it is so real in Tony's mind. Yes. All this shit. If you can get again, him to take his yeah. cat to the vet, that that alone is a saintly task. Yes. And that, I mean, so you asked me to sum these people up, Tony, there was one big thing we didn't get to. And that was what you just hit right there. It says his cat, you know, we want him to take the cat to the vet because the cat is always making like a choking noise. And Tony yeah. thinks that's because the satellite man is doing that. And then the people may be asking, well, who is the satellite man? The satellite man is Tony's boogeyman. It's an entity that he believes exists somewhere up in the stars that is constantly using their satellite beams to fuck up his teeth, fuck up his entire body, which I think is really his like warped view of aging. And like how his meth usage just fucked his teeth up, that he's just trying to find something to like cope look with. Look at those that. black marks. <laughs> look at them. Yeah, look. They're worse feet. now. They're worse yeah. now. I've never seen them so bad. And the thing is, guys, it's it's very obvious that that Tony is a heavy use user of some kind of like pipe. Uh, the front, you know, those front four. Yeah. They go first. They're torched. Because that's They're where all torched. the shit. That yeah, that's where that shit comes through. They just almost burn your teeth with chemicals and heat and uh yeah tony has pulled a tooth out of his fucking head and put it on a notebook a piece of notebook paper guys and presented it to us and yeah. been like goddamn satellite man did this to me I, yeah, yeah <sighs> it's it and he lives and so tony will make these videos thousands upon thousands of them just screaming or not sometimes he screams but most of the time almost just, five thousand videos five thousand video and like i said you go to his instagram there's ten thousand posts there too here's the best one we'll show it real quick here's tony most riled up he's ever been yeah he's doing that satellite man just communicated he this. said he said he dared me to claim that i outranked him or something do you own no one outranks tony or do i thanks trash do man. you own winchester or do i do i own the nra or do you? Do I own military installations, weapons corporations in this country? Or do you? Do I own air fighter jet manufacturing and commercial jet manufacturing? Do I own car country, car company manufacturing in America? Do I own farms in America? Do I own gas stations? Do I own 165,000 gas stations around the fucking world? Or is it you? Or is I or am I the owner? Do I own John Deere tractor or do you? Do I own Freightliner or International or Peterbilt? Or do you? Do I own Mack truck? What companies do you think I own? Do I own General Motors or do I own 
Lamborghini, Ferrari, Chevrolet? What do you own, motherfucker? Do I own Lamborghini? Do I own Mercedes? Do I own BMW? What do you fucking own? Do I own the White House? Or do you claim you thought you owned the White House? You better go into court, you motherfucker. Why do you think they call me the son of, son Uncle, of Sam? Uncle Sam? Because it was my family that loaned money to the American government. You fucking faggot. <laughs> you better go into court. You motherfucker. Listen, Weston. <laughs> Tony, 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 Tony. Oh, Tony Chase right now. This guy I love how it starts out with with Tony being like, Hey, what's up guys? It's all in reference to and it's like by the end he's just screaming about all the companies he owns. Are you still there, Smokey? I'm, I'm sorry. here, you know, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That, Tony this is insane. Tony, if you didn't know, chat, he's not gay, not never. Now, that's the name of his, his actual channel is Tony Chase, not gay, not never. And, you know, he he says that, he says that, but then he has a playlist on his channel of the best looking males in the world of fashion and different things. Yeah, let me show them. Yeah, it's, it's 2023, you know, who, we're not we're not judging, we're not judging, you do you, Tony. Yep, there it is right there. The best looking males in the world, uh, in the world of There's beauty. two of them. Oh, two of them, yeah, because one's not enough. Um, and so Tony, he, he really likes like that type of stuff, fashion and all that, but he also likes ballet. Big ballet mm -hmm. guy. He probably did it when he was younger. So another thing Tony really likes is pizza. We got to go to the shorts, I think, for this one. Okay, okay. Tony really likes pizza, <laughs> and he loves ballet. And guess what Tony's done, the fucking genius that he is? He has opened up his own pizza spot that I imagine no one can go to but him. But the pizzas look good. I'll give that to Tony. He looks like he looks like he whips up a pretty goddamn good pizza. And uh, Kiwi, would you like to show them the new advertising um, block for for ballet pizza? Absolutely. <laughs> Hello, people, and happy New Year's and happy holidays in the future too. And happy New Year, twenty twenty three, from my ballet pizza company and. And friendly acknowledgments in reference to people in the media that know me and celebrities that know me. Well, most people know I'm a hermaphrodite since the day I was born. <laughs> and in reference to uh, music industries, movies, television, modeling industry, ballet, of course. You know, in reference to information, you know, my ballet company says hello and Happy New Year's to everybody and their families and people in friendly countries around the world. Lots of things of importance and... Uh, Hope everybody has a good, happy new year and future. That straight came out of nowhere where he's like, yeah, everybody knows about my status as a, <laughs> no, that, that is not a joke guys. He's nope. dead serious. He's dead, dead serious. He's talked about what's he called his, his Vin, Vin Gina. His like Vin Gina. Yeah. He's her a van. Yeah. It's he's a strange, her. it's strange. Tony, Tony doxes himself all the time. Over on Tony's Instagram, Tony will put up like literal pictures of his mail that have his address and his name on it. And God is my fucking witness, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Kiwi, I, I can't, I, I can't, I mean, I can send you the picture, but again, we have to do heavy redacting like right here on the spot to show it. Yeah, but, you see, he says like hermaphrodite right yeah, there on Tony's the mail. legal, the legal documents people are sending him have the name Tony Chase Hermaphrodite on it. So, like, is is that something? Like, do you think he maybe went to the fucking like name change, wherever you can change your name, and was like, no, put it on there. I'm dead ass. They're sending him. They're I, I sending bet, him legit paperwork you know, with this on there. But he'd probably be afraid to go through any government channels, you know, like anything government related. We like, he won't even we, take his fucking yeah. cat to the vet. But we, we always talk about that, how, like, he's so tinfoil hat about shit, and then he doesn't care about, like, using the microwave or nothing. He picks and chooses what, like, offends him and what doesn't. And I feel like when, like, he's like, ah, I fucking hate this government, but now I gotta go down to the DMV and get my license renewed. Um, you know, like he's you're gotta, right, you're like right, because he, he uses Alexa, and he's always yes. going on about the satellite, man. Could you guys yeah. believe that shit? He's, like, always signaling to Alexa, Alexa, what time is it? And this man claims that a fucking satellite is burning his teeth from space. 
I'd be more afraid of the internet connected devices. Yeah. Like, I, that's just me. I, that, that's just me. I, I think it's all Tony's to Tony's meth induced psychosis is very, very specific. Yes. Yeah. He's like, you ask him about the Alexa thing. He's like, Oh, it's fine. It's just an yeah. Alexa. And then it's like his teeth start to hurt and no, it's a fucking space satellite that has lasers. What the fuck? Hey, he knows better than us. He, he knows better than us. I mean, he does. No, I, He's the CEO. I should go try real quick to get a picture off his Instagram to show you what his pizzas look like. Tony looks like he makes oh, yeah. pretty fucking good pizza. Right there here. it is. There it is. Ballet that's, pizza. That's not a bad looking pizza. Tony yeah, plays the piano too, guys. So I think he has a background in like the arts. See, chat's coming around. You guys like ballet pizza. Yeah, they're like, a chat at first is like, this guy's crazy. Now they're like, now hold on a second. Look at him. Where's this ballet pizza company at? Like, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to go on TikTok sometime, man. I got s such wondrous horrors. I hear, that, the guy I hear that one of the best ingredients that Tony puts in here is, is the meth. Like, it's really, it makes, yes. it makes people just constantly come back for more. The Mr. White style pizza. The Mr. White pizza. See, his name is fucking Tony, too. Tony is just a classic yep. name of a good pizza maker. Like It is. It's Italian, you motherfucker. Imagine if he was able to do that, open up his own little pizza shop, like make a good living. That would be that would be the happy ending for Tony. I feel like he seems to love making these pizzas, bro. He eats it every single night. He puts up a picture all the time. Is it fucked up I'd eat this pizza? Like, no, it's I'd, okay. it, looks like eat good, it. it looks like a good pizza. It really does. The crust looks handmade. Am I wrong? I, like, it, it looks is, like he all, yes, pressed he it out. All these. I'm pretty sure he makes all these. Yeah. The, honestly, though, this is like some art house uh, horror movie shit. Just put this in black and white. Keep the music over it and like have it cutting to like pictures of maggots. You guys know, you've seen The Office, that guy. He shows them all that shit at Halloween. Because this is creepy. This is like uh, this is just a creepy vibe. It is. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's just the music. <laughs> it is very weird. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like it's the intro to like a Resident Evil or a Silent Hill game. No, it's it's like a fucking what's it called? Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like ooh, look at this pizza. Ooh. <laughs> Soon enough, Five one Nights of the dads of gonna jump up. Now, be real with me. Do you think his cats are dying because he's smoking meth in the same room as them? No, I think they actually, sadly, probably have something wrong. Or is it it's just, I'm praying it's just like, because well, I never had a cat, right? But don't they have, like, fur balls and stuff? Or is that just, like, hammed up? For yeah, but they can, get, they can get rid of those pretty easy. Cat Cats and dogs generally have pretty fucking delicate respiratory systems that's why like yeah when josh is like got my dog hi it's like no i'm just trying like, to i'm trying to stay optimistic because i don't want to imagine I the tony's you. cats like going through shit and that's where people because i saw him. people in, yeah i saw people in the comments earlier saying that like oh what is this the fucking pandering podcast it's like no we're just not complete assholes a lot of people say if you're in this community you can't like have feelings about shit but you can and there's certain things you know people don't want to see a cat being left to just die they want to see it actually be doing good and stuff like that same with tony fuck it it's the pandering podcast hell yeah, yeah that's right yeah we are the, pa the pander cast two pandering four high this is really like he's really giving us the rundown of this fucking pizza i mean yeah, I mean, let's you, analyze you got... it. What's it? We look like we got a little sausage here, um, some Italian herbs, some mozza, a uh, nice little burn on top of some of the cheese in places. It looks perfectly cooked. It does. Not too greasy, just the right amount of pep sausage. Nice crust, a little crunch on the side. This needs to be the net. If if I was like not so against touching this shit, it'd be interesting to get like a Guy Fieri style like diners, drive-ins, and dives. <laughs> you know, like today I'm gonna be trying a fucking snail chowder burrito with King Cobra JFS. amazing 
Yo, I just saw a guy in chat say it, and I looked it up, and I was like, gonna, if anyone can look this up for me, someone said that something like bad happened to World of T-shirts, so if anyone has any like, word on that, I, I couldn't find anything, but. He just keeps getting fucking drunk, dude. I've, I've been meaning to make an update video on him. He is just, he really shows us this fucking pizza for six minutes straight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, like, how the fuck you gotta? Like, because people don't understand the essence of the pizza, you know? What happened you know, they, to World of T-shirts? That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. I just, I, I saw, like I said, it's, this is me. Just, I, I shouldn't, <laughs> it's a lot of times people mess with this, but I saw someone comment the World of T-shirts died, and I looked it up, and I didn't find anything for it, but. Well, so did Tone. Yeah, true, true, true. Tone died. Jaeger bombs are immortality potion. They are. Do you have any other uh, Tony you want to look at here? I do not, but we can find one more. I feel like on the channel, like what what has he been up to video wise lately? Like any any good ones? It seems like. Let's look for a recent popular. Um, this one from five months. Oh, this is about the seven men in the IHOP. That's oh my fucking god, nuts! That dude. one's yeah. Uh... I don't know if we can listen to that here because nah, it's that one, graphic. To give people a good idea, though, Tony believes that he was, uh, like, um, I'll say abused. I, I feel like that's still the wrong word to use because YouTube probably wouldn't like that one. But in an IHOP bathroom by, by seven uh, guys. And this story actually rolls over about ten different times. It also happened with seven dudes at an airport. Um, there's it's other always places. a gang happened. of yeah. seven. Yeah, it's always specifically seven yeah. dudes. This one's, this one looks interesting. Fair enough. You guys know this is like very important. Like, who the fuck are these people to claim they didn't know who I am when they kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions? You know, we we want some people to make public speeches about this situation. People that know the history of this situation, and you know, all all these people that have blocked me from my mother and father's mansions, trying to call me somebody else's child. Where did they come up with the idea of doing that? We just got a new Where way Where did they come up with the mind. idea of doing that? And what was the time and date of doing that? Much love, to see brother. if they have contact or they've had contact with anybody on the hate club list. This is very important in reverence to laws and facts. It goes to show you how tricks yep, just try to play are. their games. They're hitting me in the teeth. Why are you hitting me in the teeth? If Why you said my teeth weren't real, teeth? you wouldn't have to do that, now would you? No, they wouldn't. See, you're, you're trying to make them look damaged all the time is what you have done. Now we want you to explain why. Why are you damaging my boy's teeth? Explain everything you accusated about, government man. Everything. Who do you think is, you are to do this to me? What is that noise in the background? What race and really Sounds like a, a bucket. It sounds like a, a, it up. sounds like like water's running or like yeah. is his toilet running or something. Well, his hair looks wet. Um, Maybe he's got out the shower. I don't know. What religion are you? What country did you come from? He's washing his food like a raccoon. Did you explain yourself? Why would you be damaging something repetitiously if you thought it was fake? If you damaged it once, then then it wouldn't be. It wouldn't grow and try to heal, now would it? So you're trying to mess up somebody's teeth because what? Because you're trying to copy a person's identity? Trying to copy a person's teeth? You claimed you had the same type of genetics as me? All these questions have to be asked to your agents or whoever the hell has been doing this shit. You shouldn't have a problem answering none of the fucking questions. It's all based on your illegal actions, government. Thank you, Matt C. But, you know, who are these people to claim that they thought I had to prove something to them in reverence to who I am? Don't forget the Treasury's had all the documents. You know what's happening? Tony's pissing. He's he's setting down. He doesn't have to stand up. He can fucking sit across the room and just piss. So who I am and who my parents are the whole time. So who are these people that that tried to play the in-between person between me and my mother and father's estates. Where did those people come from? What race and religion are those people? What is their financial history or their background? Who are they and where did they come from? Check to see if their names are on the hate club list. Criminals that tried to steal from my parents. 
Tony Cage is part of Cage's gang. Very you hear that? Serious. <laughs> you hear that? Why you do I have to prove that? anything he to you? He looks like he belongs. My mother and father's money like don't belong to you. Belongs. My parents named me as the only child of my mother and father, and the only heir to the estates is me. The real protocol is my identity forever. I'm not going to tell you. If you make any false audios, man, it could cost you your life. Oh boy! I'm trying to steal anything. Cost their me. fucking it's Never life, signed. Dude. Never, never gave. Never, never sold. Never, and that means forever, man. No matter what you think, no matter what you try to forge. What was it that Dracula said? Um, I will reach suck your for blood. my yeah. no, no. Reach for my chain, you get turned into an example. That's Tony really? for you. I thought it was like yeah. There's two, a two a bats. Ah 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 ah. Nah, Dracula's got way better quotes than that. Uh, what's another one, guys? Come on, hit us in hit us in chat. There's some good ones, like for real. Uh, oh, what is it? I'm a stealth soldier. Uh, shit ain't nothing to me. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of them. Have you seen Dracula flow yet, Smokey? Obviously, I have not. I'm thinking you of got, the one from dude, Sesame Street. Or you've got to you've got to go watch it. <laughs> I they it looks. At the start, you'll probably be like, what the fuck is this? But it looks like this old man is being held hostage. Uh, and they're forcing him to read, like, one-liner raps. Uh, it'll kill you, I promise. You you gotta watch it. Dracula flow. Uh, no matter what recordings you make We up, We smoking no on that symbiote. Not that Zaza got my circadian rhythm never fucked. Never, never sold, never, not, never. I'm... And that's forever. Off them Saraquia Banshee Boogers. <laughs> we ought to, yeah, let's watch. just fucking play it. We still got time. Uh, I want to show Smokey this. Can we, can I show you this real quick, Smokey? Of course, of course, of course. I'm just, you, I'm you just, babe. no, you're good. Go ahead. We got all the time. <laughs> You'll love this. You'll love this. I'm sorry to everybody who's seen this. This is too good. We straight gas and cutting straight to the bricks. Ha-ha, <laughs> this shit ain't nothing to me, man. We smoking runts. Shorty got a BBL, took that shit out because she couldn't run. I had to do it to them snipe. I went Judge Judy on that pussy snipe. I'm not loyal to anybody. I'm a demon. I have no loyalty for anyone. Never did, never will. Shorty chose to be with a demon. Sounds like her problem to me. Ha ha. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. My money longer than James Cameron. <laughs> On and off the court, straight fundamentals. No funny business. This shit ain't nothing to me, this man. Moving this like Dracula, we get it back in blood. You see it? Yeah, I really hard did this. Fuck, bro. I'm really him. Flipped a whole brick into an empire. Stop playing with me. Stop fucking playing with me. I have no oh sympathy. God, dude now. I live for this shit. The fuck this shit does. ain't nothing to me, man. Let's skip ahead a for little For my bit. neck, you'll get turned into an example. Here it is. Here it is. Three's the best. <laughs> I need more Sequoia Banshee boogers. Don't be shy, girl. I love me some pastrami mud flaps. I'm moving like French Montana. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Welcome to the cream kingdom, bitch. Open up. Black China. I drink her piss out of another man's balls. My shooter, a crackhead. He looked like Woody Harrelson. You ain't seen 10 bands in your life, shit. Reach for my neck. You'll get turned into an example. Y'all got to stop playing with me, man. I threw diamonds at the strip clubs under the Great Pyramids. I pushed the camel through the eye of a needle. <laughs> this shit ain't nothing to me, man. Tied the ops to the back of a track hawk and dragged them around the block for 24 hours. Motherfucker, look like a Resident Evil 5 campaign extra after we was done with them. Ops wanted some initiative. Blew up their entire quadrant. I'm moving like Oppenheimer. She dropped that ass on me from an egregious angle. They thought I was Stephen Wallace. She dropped that ass on me from an egregious angle. Yeah, that's an all-time quote. Was Stephen Wallace. Dude, that is literally all-time. This is just be. I'm telling you, this is like. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this that is just magical. 
uh, moving no, it, like it, Oppenheimer. It's some good shit. Yeah, you you see you you were right with this. You're right about a lot of the stuff, <laughs> like the Dale Gribble power scaling shit. It, you it watch takes that? Me a while. Yes, I did, but I, it takes me like months <laughs> to finally do it. I'll, I'll be sitting here high one day, and be like, "Oh, that thing, yeah, let's go." <laughs> then, then when I do, I fucking die watching it. Oh yeah, I you know I I feel bad because sometimes I'll just send Smokey some straight nerd shit, and he's probably like, "Oh, this Kiwi guy." <laughs> but like, I sometimes I feel like, yeah, with the Dale Gribble power scaling, you'll sit there and you'll just like laugh your ass off because it's like meaningless, just like this, like. I don't know what it is about this, but it's amazing. They got it some is. other good ones too. They're called Plum Corp. Let me show Plum them. Plum Corp. They, I feel like they're the successors of Filthy Frank. They just do like random weird Man, see all the shit. Like they have a guy who they like have physically in a suit that shows up and acts like their CEO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good. They're good. Big shout out Plum Corp.